This is news on the go. Here is what's cooking. I'm Amrita Bali Chandra. Safura Zargar, a Jamia Millia University student, was finally granted bail today. She was arrested on April 10th under the anti-terror law in a case related to the Delhi riots that broke out in February during protests against the CAA. Safura was arrested when she was 3 months pregnant and charged under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. NDTV has reported that the Delhi High Court has directed Safura Zargar to not get involved in any activities that may hamper the investigation while granting the bail. Safura's arrest had triggered global outrage calling for her release on humanitarian grounds. The Karnataka government has now fixed rates for private hospitals covid treatment and ordered them to reserve 50% of the beds for cases referred by public health authorities according to a report by the Times of India. The reserved beds will include both HDU and ICU beds equipped with and without ventilators while hospitals may utilize remaining 50% of the beds to admit covid patients privately who are not referred by public authorities according to the report. According to tariffs fixed by the government package rates for general ward is 5200 rupees isolation icu without ventilator is 8500 rupees and isolation icu with ventilator is 10000 rupees Let me also tell you that the Ministry of Ayush has now asked Yoga Guru Baba Ramdev Patanjali to stop advertising and publicizing claims that it has found a cure for COVID-19 till the issue is duly examined The ministry has now sought details of the medicine The statement by the ministry says Patanjali has been asked to provide at the earliest the details of the name and composition of the medicine being claimed for covid treatment. This comes the backdrop of Patanjali launching two medicines on Tuesday claiming clinical trials on patients showed 100% results. Now as covid-19 numbers are continuing to increase across the country Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy has now said that every family in Andhra Pradesh will be tested within 90 days. The decision was taken at a review meeting on COVID-19 situation. The chief minister also went on to say that 104 ambulances should be used for the purpose. Andhra Pradesh has 9372 cases until now. And Novak Djokovic, the men's world number 1 tennis player, has now tested positive for COVID-19 according to a report by Reuters. This development comes after three other players part of Djokovic's Adria Tour competition also tested positive. The report also said Djokovic in a statement has now said that he will remain in isolation for the next 14 days and repeat the test again in 5 days. The report also says that the remainder of the tour has now been cancelled. The tournament had earlier sparked outrage over lack of COVID-19 protocols. That's a wrap from me today. This is Amita Balachandra signing off. Stay home, stay safe.